Portland, Oregon. Do you guys remember Portland, Oregon during um, <laughs> 2020? Uh, BLM, really into 2021. I mean, Portland, Oregon was the worst of the worst in terms of a complete breakdown of law and order, rioting, rioting, violent rioting every night, uh, uh, trying to basically break into and attack uh, federal buildings, uh, police, to a large extent, Oregon police standing to the side. And what was the response of the Oregon City Council at the time? I mean, basically, the response was defund the police. We don't need as much police. I mean, all this violence you're seeing in our streets are basically a consequence of police. I, I did a show at the time about how this derives from, um, I think, from Rousseau's attitude that basically violence is oppressed people's response to civilization. That is, in our non-civilized state, in our state of nature, we are not violent creatures. It is civilization, in other words, things like police, that bring out the violence in us. And uh, if we want to be in peace, we have to destroy, destroy uh, civilization, right? So uh, anyway, Portland, as you remember, uh, Portland uh, uh, defunded the police. The, res the reaction, uh, the response to defunding the police in Portland was, as you'd expect, uh, that uh, crime rates increased. Uh, Portland is, a, is one of the worst crime cities in the country. It certainly was one of the worst places in, or was the worst place in the country during the 2020 um, uh, riots. Uh, in, in the years since 2020, homicide rates uh, tripled, car thefts soared, much of downtown basically was overtaken by open drug use. Uh, the uh, violent crime overall, uh, you know, re remained, even though uh, murder rates came down last year in 2023, overall violent crime remains 17% above 2019 levels. So the consequence of defunding the police and not letting the police do their job in 2020 resulted in all of uh, this. On Tuesday, I guess today, today, uh, Portland voters uh, vote on uh, for a new, um, uh, you know, uh, a district attorney. I think it's a district attorney. That's what they called. It. Yeah, district attorney. Um, in 2020, uh, 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 you know, uh, Schmidt, who is uh, something Schmidt, what's his first name? I forget his first name. Anyway, Schmidt was elected a uh, massive progressive. He's the guy who defunded the police, didn't bring, didn't bring violent criminals and, and expect jail terms for them. In 2020, he won with a 77% landslide. 77% landslide. Anyway, right now, um, as we speak, Portland citizens are voting. Um, and Schmidt, uh, representing the progressives and representing the Democratic Party, is running against a, a, a uh, not a Republican, a independent, uh, an independent by the name of uh, Vasquez. Again, I'm missing the first name. Yeah, Nathan Vasquez. Um, uh, Nathan Vasquez. Nathan Vasquez is running on a simple message, on a simple message of law and order. He is going to prosecute criminals. He's going to encourage the city council to increase the money for policing. Uh, he is going to clamp down on crime. Um, according to the polls, and of course tomorrow hopefully we'll know the result of the election, uh, Vasquez was leading Schmidt by 19 percentage points. 19 percentage points. Now we'll see if that actually happens. Um, we'll see if that actually happens uh, um, and uh, if one of the candidates wins 50%, because this is like an open primary, if one of the candidates wins f over 50%, they're in. If they get under 50%, I guess the top two run in another election. Uh, everybody, the expectation is that Vasquez will get over 50%. He will be the next district attorney. So even in woke, crazy, nutty, violent Portland, where 
if you ever watch Portlandia, the radical, crazy, left, woke, touchy-feely, fill in all the different blanks, even in Portland, there is only so much they are willing to tolerate. Even in Portland, uh, it appears that they're going to elect somebody who is stands for law and order and uh, intends to uh, clamp down uh, on, uh, on, tr on, uh, on crime. So let's hope that he, um, he actually wins. Um, Portland, if you've ever been, I don't know if any of you have ever been, Portland has to be one of the most beautiful cities in the United States. It's gorgeous. It's green. It has these amazing trees. You can go on pretty short drives to see some magnificent waterfalls and, and amazing forests. Not far from that, there is, is uh, a, a Willamette Valley, I think, where you can get some unbelievable, um, unbelievable um, wine. So Portland, Oregon is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place. So I encourage you to visit. Um, Eugene is not as nice. I, I do think Portland is nicer. It's right on the Columbia River, uh, and it's, it's what, two-hour drive to Seattle. It's a really beautiful part of the world, so I encourage you guys to, to visit. Seattle is beautiful. That whole area is beautiful. Um, and uh, once it becomes safer, and once they have a better district attorney, it'll even be nicer uh, to visit. All right.